Hi, my name is Manish Gupta, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the Stanford Alpaca model. What is Alpaca model and how is it trained? So before Alpaca model, there have been so many instruction following models such as GPT 3.5, ChatGPT, Claude and Bing Chat. However, all of them are closed source. Academia cannot make use of these models so as to even try and build smaller models because you know these weights are unknown. Their weights are unknown. So the question is how to basically get open source language, large language models. Now that requires two important things. One, there's a need for a strong pre-trained language model. And second, there's a need for an instruction data set. Now, fortunately, uh, Meta's Llama 7 billion model became publicly available, uh, although under a non-commercial license. And then that is what Alpaca folks leveraged. So they fine-tuned the Llama 7 million and 13 billion checkpoints on a 52,000 instruction following demonstrations data set uh, for three and five epochs respectively. So Lama 7 billion uh, was used to train Alpaca 7 billion model using three epochs, and then Alpaca 13 billion was trained from Lama 13 billion using five epochs with a maximum sequence length of 512. Uh, thus, Alpaca models are open source large language models. In fact, they are one of the first few open source large language models. Several others followed suit. For example, Vikuna uh, or Dolly, several of them essentially started following the same recipe. So these 52K instruction following demonstrations are obtained using the pipeline, which is shown here. Uh, they essentially uh, obtain these 52K instructions in the style of self-instruct using text DaVinci 003. So uh, self-instruct, uh, so, so they leveraged 175 self-instruct uh, C task, which look like that. Uh, the instruction is brainstorm a list of possible New Year instruction resolutions, and then the output is lose weight, exercise more, eat healthier. They take those kinds of C tasks and then they ask uh, text DaVinci 003 so as to modify and provide more self instruct inst you know, instructions. Uh, and then, you know, what DaVinci helps us to uh, helps to do is to actually generate example tasks of this kind. So instruction is brainstorm creative design ideas for designing a conference room, and the output basically involves a whole bunch of creative ideas generated by text DaVinci 003. This is how they obtain these 52K instruction following examples, which is basically used to fine tune instruction, fine tune the Meta uh, Llama 7 billion model. So this supervised fine tuning essentially gives rise to Alpaca 7 billion. The same thing they do to fine tune the 13 billion model as well. Now all of this fine tuning essentially just uses $500 uh, usage of OpenAI API. Of course, OpenAI uh, also charges for you know uh, generating generating these things, the 52k instruction following examples that just costed them $500. Now after that is done, they have to fine tune. So there are some fine tuning costs also. Fine tuning was done in a very efficient manner using FSTP, fully sharded data parallel, and mixed precision training. Uh, so that basically required just three hours on eight 80 GB E100 machines, which typically on most cloud servers essentially just costs about thousand, about hundred dollars. Thus, their entire pipeline uh, has a bill of just six hundred dollars. So in six hundred dollars, you basically have a model. Uh, of course, you can't use it for commercial purpose, but it is as good, in fact, as uh, as as your uh, text DaVinci 003 kind of models. Um, interestingly, there is no nice. Uh, uh, rigorous evaluation of these models, but human evaluation by, was performed by the five student authors that you see here on a set of 252 self-instruct evaluation examples. These evaluation examples do come from a diverse set, so they essentially contain user-oriented instructions for email writing, social media, productivity tools, and so on. Um, and in those 252 self-instruct evaluation examples, what they found, uh, they tried to compare Alpaca and Text DaVinci 003, and they found that Alpaca wins 90 times versus Text DaVinci just wins 89 times. So more or less, they found um, that the two models perform almost similarly. Now, of course, Alpaca model has its own limitations, uh, uh, very much similar to most of the generative text generative AI models, uh, hallucination, toxicity generation, and stereotypes. For example, uh, you know, uh, in an example, they observed uh, that uh, uh, if you asked Alpaca, hey, what is the capital of Tanzania? It sort of uh, uh, answered that the capital is Dar es Salaam, uh, which was the capital until 1974 when it was replaced by Dodoma. Alpaca can also be used to generate well-written outputs that can spread misinformation. So those are some of the limitations. However, if you look at the examples that are shown here, you'll observe that it performs more or less the same as tax, text DaVinci 003. So, you know, the user can ask what is an alpaca? How is it different from a llama? You know, well, alpaca and llama are both animals as well. 
Uh, but uh, you know, so this is the answer that the model generates. An alpaca is a domesticated species of South American uh, camelid related to llama and vicuna. It is smaller than a llama and has finer and softer fleece. Alpacas are raised for their fleece, uh, which is used to make knitted and woven garments. You can also ask other kinds of questions like write an email to congratulate new Stanford admits uh, and mention that you're excited uh, about meeting all of them in person. And here is an email which is nicely drafted by the alpaca model. Now the alpaca models uh, 52K instruction set has a lot of diversity uh, and uh, you know uh, this is a nice chart to essentially show uh, the diversity of uh, the tasks which are there in this 52K instruction set. Um, the font is a little smaller, but I think it is still readable. Um, so the inner circle actually indicates the root verb of the instructions and the outer circle indicates the objects. For example, you can ask the alpaca model or rather, you know, you fine tuned alpaca model on instructions which mention tasks like write description, write function, write sentence or write story. Or uh, you could also say create story, create sentence, create poem, create list or rewrite phrase, rewrite paragraph, rewrite statement, rewrite sentence or generate question, generate story, generate sentence, generate list and so on. So, uh, you know, give example, give description, give list, give title or edit sentence, edit text or explain concept, explain difference and so on. So it has a very good diversity of the human uh, of, of human like instructions. OK, so in short, Alpaca is one of the first few open source large language models. It is fine tuned from Llama and 52K instruction set created using self instruct on text DaVinci 003. The overall budget that was required to create this model is just $600. Uh, and it gives similar uh, similar results compared to text DaVinci 003. Uh, for some time, Stanford folks also hosted a demo where you could just try out Alpaca, but they uh, you know shut down the demo uh, a few months back. However, if you want to uh, you know play around with the Alpaca, if you just want to you know look at its weights or essentially look at the 52K instruction set and so on, you can visit the GitHub website uh, for for this model. OK, so that's it. Hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching. Connect with me on my LinkedIn or look at my research on my homepage. Thank you.